Hello, good evening. Buenas noches. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, do you have the documents that I sent you to? Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, we are going to use them tonight. Uh, for the first time, we are going to work in groups. And what about the others? How are you guys? How are you guys? Fine, thank you. Fine, Fine thank you. That's good. So it's almost time. Uh, we are nine in the meeting. And we are going to wait for the others. So because tonight we are going to work in groups and we need more people so we can work better. Um, by the time we are going to work on the platform, uh, we're going to develop uh, the exercise that uh, we didn't do yesterday. Okay, let me introduce the the presentation. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for coming. Today is Wednesday, July 20, 28, uh, 2021. And this is the class number nine. Uh, and tonight we are going to continue with the topic of scanning. So for this, as I told you, we are going to develop the exercise, the knowledge check. Uh, can you see the platform? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you please uh, help me read in the purpose, uh, Rafael? <clears throat> lesson okay. objective in this lesson participants will read an article about a senior the scanning for the important information will be developed okay thank you Rafael in this um, in this slide we are going to read about a singer about Cristina Aguilera I guess and we are going to scanning some important information. And well, let's move to the to the article. Uh, I have in here the article. So what what we have to do is to to number the sentences from one to eight. From one to eight, this. Um, well, these sentences, number the sentences, and then we are going to identify which number um, has the correct information that we will looking for. So right now we, we don't need to read the article. We need to answer these questions, this um, specific information. For example, in number one, it says that she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. So what we need is to look in which of these sentences is the information. From one to eight. Can you find the seven. answer? Number seven. Uh, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Along with other singers, Christina Records, Lady Mar Marmalade, and uh, for the movie 
Mullen Road. Um, is the number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. So the answer is the number eight. As you could see, we didn't uh, need to read the whole article just to find out uh, where she sings. Teacher. Sorry, no? but it's, it's seven. It's number seven. Lo que pasa es que no todas las, las afirmaciones de la, de la revista están ahí en, listadas. Oh, ok. Lo que pregunta es en qué orden se han listado las que están ahí. Ok, if you say so, we are going to change that. We are going to change to number seven. Maybe the numbers are confused. But thank you for telling me. Okay, with the other one, she is born in New York. We want to know when she was born. And for that, number one is number one. The first one, the first number one. one. is very easy to find out because it's the number one. The next one, she wins a Grammy for beautiful. For the song beautiful, she wins a Grammy. Where is that information? Eight. Eight. Uh, will be the, the last one? Yes. This one. And, well, okay. She wins the best female folk vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. For the beautiful song. Okay, number eight. That is number eight. Which one? The letter C. Yes, yes. This is number C. eight. Okay. The letter D. It says she records a song for Disney movie for a Disney a Disney movie. Uh, where does it's five? One, two, three, four, five. Um. She records a song for a Disney movie. Five, okay, here it is. Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. It's number five. Num letter E, she travels around Japan. She travels four. around four. Japan. Number four, let's see, one, two, three, four. She, uh, Christina records all I wanna do uh, with Kiso. Uh, Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star, and she tours Japan. Okay, that is number. Which number it was? Is was it number five? Four. 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 Okay, number four. Letter F. She works she with, work with with Britney Spears. With Britney Spears. Three. Let's see, one, two, three. Christina is on TV. Is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin, Justin, Justin Timberlake. So it's number three. Number three. And the letter G, she is on television for the first time. Two. Okay, let's read. Christina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. Number two. That is an easy one. Letter H. She has, uh, she has her first very successful song. His, six. Her very successful song. Let's see number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Christina has his first big hit. Uh, Genu in a bottle. Genu in a bottle. Number six. Okay, just to double check. Let's see. I know you have the current answers already done. 
it's taking a while. Let's wait to see the, the result. Okay, 25 out of 25. So we got all of them correct. Okay, as uh, most of the participants are here in the class, we are going to continue with this topic, but now we are going to, pra to practice in groups, as I told you before. So let's check the previous knowledge. Can you tell me what is a scanning? Do you remember what is a scanning? Here is the information. What is a scanning? Let me see. Claudia. Claudia, Rebecca, are you there? What is a scanning? Okay, I guess she is not here. What is a scanning? Maria Lorena. Can you read this um, this short paragraph? Somebody? Me. Scanning is also useful when you don't have time to read every word. This could be when you're studying or looking for specific information from a book or article and need to find it quickly. Okay, thank you. We use the scanning when we don't have enough time to read uh, the whole paragraph or the whole article. So we look quickly for the information that we need, only for the information that we have asked for. So as I told you, we are going to work in groups. And for this, uh, let me see, we are going to work in the breakout rooms. Uh, I'm going to split the class into four groups. Maybe some of them will be five people or, uh, and others uh, six people. Uh, so let's see. Well, I can find that. Let Let's wait. Meanwhile, I. Okay, here it is. I'm going to create four groups, and you are going to be assigning randomly from six to seven people in each group. Okay. So you are going to, do you have the document? Yes. At least one of the groups has to have the document. So, because you are going to work with that. And, okay, look, the group number, group number uh, one is going to work with a job advertisement. The group number two is going to work with the BBC television guide. And the group number three, job advertisement. And group number four, BBC television guide. So you are going to be assigned, assigned randomly. Al azar. So you have to work with, uh, with your classmates. And you are going to have uh, 15 minutes to complete the exercise. Then we are going to answer it here in the, in the presentation. So, uh, do you know what uh, are you going to do? I don't understand. You give us the document? I send them to the WhatsApp chat. Lo pueden usar en el okay. teléfono o en, la, o en la computadora si lo tienen. Uh, va a ser mucho mejor. 
hay dos documentos, okay. dos ejercicios, entonces por lo menos uno que lo tenga para que trabajen en, en el grupo. Y eh, ah, van a tener 15 minutos para complementarlo, el, el ejercicio y luego vamos a, a discutirlo. So let's see. You will be assigned randomly, so you have to work and communicate, please. Please work and don't be shy and complete it, please. Okay, now I'm going, I'm going to create the groups. And you, okay. you will be separate from the main meeting. Van a ser separados de la, uh, de la videoconferencia principal, se van a unir a un grupo pequeño nada más de sus participantes. Ahí pueden discutir lo que quieran. Yo me voy a poder unir para supervisar lo que, cómo llevan el trabajo. And, okay, that's all. Just communicate and work with the documents, please, that I told you. If you have any question, uh, you can ask through the chat, please. Okay, let's start. Mm -hmm. Or do you have any question right now? No. Okay. Okay, so let's start. Then you, you have to press uh, join the group. Join the group, please. And you will be separate. Yo no puedo compartir tampoco. Para que compartan pantalla. Uh, how are you doing? Do you have the documents? Can you share uh, that? No podemos compartir la pantalla. Uh, si no tienen para compartir pantalla, uh, pero si los tienen en celular, los pueden trabajar así nomás. Dice que solo el anfitrión puede compartir pantalla. Creo que son los permisos. Ajá, pero en el grupo pueden trabajar desde la casa. Uh, en otros así. módulos eh, tenemos permisos para poder compartir pantalla para trabajar en los grupos. Uh, déjenme ver. Mm, bueno, en este caso, no sé dónde está esa opción. Pero si lo pueden nada más leer, contestarlos así el, el documento y que al, alguien del grupo tenga las respuestas. Sí, porque hay... no sé cómo, cómo poder hacer eso para que ustedes compartan. Ay, no... no me sale para dar permiso acá a, a cada participante. Sí. Yo no escuché la explicación porque justo cuando las estaban dando, eh, mi hija se cayó y se 
un poco no hemos puesto las indicaciones que yo. Vaya, la indicación es de que del documento que les envié, les envié dos. Ustedes son el grupo uno. Van a contestar uh, el documento de Jobs Advertisement. Van, ahí está la información. En la segunda página están las preguntas. Solamente contéstenla. Así en grupo. Ok. Eh, gracias. Eh, voy a ir a supervisar los otros grupos. Bueno. Manuel ya hizo el intento de compartir pantalla usted allá en la computadora. Tal vez sea que el dispositivo. Sí, no, no tengo permiso. Eh, creo que es algo que ajá, tiene que considerar el teacher, pero eh, dentro de, de las opciones que tiene él ahí, sin embargo, no. Son casi no lo utilizo, entonces no. No pude decirle más o menos dónde podría el tema de permiso. Pero si quieren, yo voy eh, copiando las respuestas aquí en, en, y después se las comparto en el. For 21 horas, a garden for all seasons. Ah, correcto. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Fine, hello, teacher. Um, ¿Cómo le está yendo? Uh, I feel good. <laughs> okay. I hope. Yeah. So. Eh, no tienen problemas para, para leer el documento. Para comunicarse. Mm. No, no eh, yo lo puedo leer. Eh. It's, it's, sí, porque, it's, eh, okay. El otro grupo me estaba diciendo que no podían compartir pantalla. Entonces lo que yo les dije es de que aquí no les podía, no me aparece para darle permiso a alguien para que compartiera el documento. Nosotros en el teléfono lo estamos viendo. Sí. Cada quien lo está revisando. Cada quien lo tiene, ah, ok, sí, eso es lo que les dije al, al otro grupo, porque aquí no me deja compartir la pantalla. Dale el permiso a alguien para, para que la comparta. Uh -huh. Pero si, si se puede comunicar, está bien. Uh -huh. wow. yeah. Ok, thank you. Os dejo thank trabajar. You. Thank you. Thanks. En la tri, what I en Wagwitz Channel, would you catch? Que no se refiere a la temporada. Te o sea, lo que se haría en el trabajo ahí, en el enunciado dice de delivery. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Is everything fine? Yes. Okay. No tienen problemas para comunicarse. Uh, Todo no, bien. Sí. Hasta el momento no. It's fine. Ajá. Eh, están trabajando desde el teléfono, verdad? Yes. 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 Ah, okay. Sí, porque había otro grupo que me pidió darle permiso para compartir el documento en la pantalla, pero no me aparece esa opción. Pero si ustedes están trabajando uh, por su propia cuenta, está bien. Ok. Ok. And you are working with uh, the BBC TV guy, right? No. Uh, scanning the, uh, job. Job Adver advertisement. Ah, okay. You are yes. group number three. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, I will let you continue. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
Hello, group number four. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello. How are you doing? Is everything good? Yeah. Do you have any problems with the document? No. No. Uh, we read the document. You are reading the document from your computer or your cell phone? On my computer. But the partner have two. Ah, okay. So, cada uno tiene el documento. Yes. Yes. You are working with the BBC TV guide, right? Yes. Ah, okay. So, if you don't have any problem, continue working, please. Okay, thank you. De confianza, sale, sale. Entusiasta y de confianza. Hello. La siguiente promotion is what cheap patterns are available. Hi, teacher. I'm Hi. here again. How many of the questions have you done? Four by four. Four. Yes. Is some quantas? <laughs> there are <laughs> how many? Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, this is the yeah. longest. This is the longer one. So if you want to, if you want any help, I can help you. What pattern means? Pattern. Which question? With number of question. N number five. Patterns. Uh, what uh -huh. what Patterns. Sheet patterns are available? Patterns uh, means patrones. But don't pay attention to that. Only pay attention pay attention to chief. What chief is a uh, schedule? ¿En qué horarios? ¿Qué horarios están disponibles? And that will be... Early, late, and night shift. Yes. Early, late, and night shift. Early, late, or night. Early, late, or night shift. Keep a school now. Yes, yes. Es el turno de trabajo. Okay, uh, the next one, Chief, where is the job day? The number six. six. Where is the job base? Uh, what is the name of, of the company? Is a skill wise delivery service. Is delivery service the base? Yes, it's based on delivery service. So 
is based on delivery service. Hay una, una línea donde dice occasional basis. Which number of the question? La misma, es sec. Eso refiere al tipo de trabajo. Occasional basis is. Um, to work on occasional basis. Trabajo uh, ocasional. Because it's delivery. Uh, sí, sería ocasional. Que le puede caer al, alguna entrega a cualquier momento de su turno. Pero en la, en la serie que nos piden, el nombre de la compañía o el tipo de trabajo. ¿Dónde está? What is your base? ¿En qué se basa? Ajá, ¿en qué se basa el trabajo? Se basa en delivery. El tipo de trabajo. Sort and delivery parcel. So, what is your base? Okay, the next one, the seven, is the work involved travel around the UC, true or false? Uh, it doesn't mention that they deliver in the whole country. So that would be false. So, so... Question number eight, how much will you earn per hour if you are a team? If you are four, uh -huh. six point ten pounds per hour. Wow. Say punto wow. diez libras per hour. Okay. Is the number nine true or false? You will be paid extra for working on Thursday. No, false. It's false because Saturdays is included. Okay, okay. number ten. One, two. One should be contact at a field wise delivery service to get an application form. Uh, what thing mean? Ellen Gray. Ellen Gray. Yes. What does mean one? Whom? 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 Whom should you? <laughs> whom should you contact? Quien? A quien contactarias? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, uh you have five more minutes. If you don't complete that, don't worry. Until you you can uh, until you have time to cover. If you don't complete uh, all of them, don't worry. Okay. Okay, the next the eleven. Correcto, pero eh, supuestamente ahí el trabajo no habla, no habla de viajar, sino habla de, de, de entregar, de, 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 de entregar claro, paquetes. Claro, no habla de viajar, ah, bueno, pues, pero sí, es repartir mensajería. Sí, y sí, si correcto. No, mensajería, entonces sería, va a entrar sería edificio, ver, preguntémosle a él. Sería verdad, entonces. Hello, do you have any Hello, question? Teacher. Sí, eh, las siete, eh, no sé cómo, inter no sabemos cómo interpretar eh. El verbo travel, porque dice las siete. Travel si el trabajo the... implica viajar por el Reino Unido. Ok, the words involves travel around the UK. Ok, let's check Reino quickly. Reino mm -hmm. Mi respuesta es que sí, yo considero que sí. 
see uh, because the job is located in that country. And y no especifica en qué lugar. Entonces le puede poner que sí porque está dentro del Reino Unido. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Gracias. you're welcome. Eh, la nueva, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Verdadero sí. o falso? ¿Si ¿Sí se va a pagar eh, dinero extra para trabajar los sábados? La 8 ya lo contestamos. Sí, lo que dijimos. Ah, eh, ok, ok, ok. 6.10 eh, por hora. Yes. How much will you earn per hour if you are each? Si yes. Pagará por... Va a pagar por... If you age uh, 18, you will uh, earn, I mean, six pound. Uh, what do you mean, earn? Uh, which, which number of the question? Earn. How much, how much you will earn? Earn is when you earn your, your salary. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuánto va a ganar por hora? Por hora. Yes. Si tiene 18 años. Ajá. How much would you earn? If you are age 18. So that one will be the second option. 6.10. Pound. Sería 6.610 per hour. Yes, that, that is the, the answer. 6.10 per uh -huh. hour. ¿Cuánto ganaría si tuviera 18 eh, años? ¿Cuánto ganarías la hora? Yes. That is the answer. 6.10. Okay. Eh, number nine. Eh, ¿Verdadero o falso? Si se pagará eh, eh, dinero extra por trabajar sábado. True or false. That is eh, no. false. Creo que es false, ¿verdad? Porque no false. especifica false. nada de acá. Yes. Yes, yes. O sea, no, no especifica extra, pero ahí dice donde ponen el precio por hora, Including dice que Saturdays. se incluye los Saturdays. So, no habrá pago extra, because Saturdays is included. Okay. Number 10. Eh, ¿Con quién deberá contactarse? Va? Esta empresa de Deliver Service. Para obtener un formulario ¿va? para aplicar. ¿no? Yes. Elaine Elaine Gray. Gray. Elaine Gray. Okay, tenemos uh, dos minutos más. If you can finish, don't worry. Okay, thanks. I will let you work the last two minutes. Okay. Uh, Creo que estamos alguna idea. Okay. Eh. Yeah. Did you finish, guys? Yes, teacher. Mm, yes. yes, teacher. Okay. We have uh, one more minute. So you can discuss about the, uh, the information. Tenemos un minuto más. Para que termine la reunión. Then we are going to, to share the answers. Ok. Did you finish, guy? Have you finished? Almost. 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 Do you need help? We have just one minute to, to complete.
No, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, you are okay. So in a minute we will be returning to the main um, conference. I can hear you clear. Somebody uh, around the microphone. Okay, now can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, there was an in interference. So we are going to continue to the main session and we are, we are going to uh, to share the answer. Okay. Uh, ¿Hicieron alguna ustedes? ¿Encontraron alguna ustedes de lo que estábamos anteriormente? Sí, yo encontré tres, la uno, la tres y la cinco. Bueno. Ok, ok. Okay, uh, we are going to answer the, the first exercise. So I need uh, the group number one. What is the answer okay. for the, the first question? Group number one. You can read the yep. question and then the answer, please. Okay, the question is when did this job start? And the answer is job starts in late November. In late November, which line? This one, late November. Okay, thank you. Uh, number two. The work will last for about a month, two or four. It's true because it's from November, late November, until the end of December. Yes. Okay, nice. Okay, group number three. Can you please read the question number three? Someone from group number three. The question number three. What, uh, what type of work is on offer? And the answer is? Mm, what with... time, what type of job is offered? Is that the question? Compañera yeah. Silvia, ¿cómo le pusimos? Uh, work on a basis helping uh, to the a, delivery okay. service. Work, yes, work on the occasional basis helping to serve and deliver work parcels. on an occasional basis mm -hmm. to deliver to deliver parcels. Okay, parcels. nice. And the question number four. Group number three. Question what number kind four. of people is Skype with delivery service looking for? And answer uh, enthusiasts, 
enthusiastic, a good communication, work as part of team. Okay, so the question is this. If you have good communication skill and you are able to work uh, or not, is this the answer? No, let me see. No. Is we are looking for enthusiastic and reliable people. This this one. <laughs> enthusiastic and reliable. Okay, nice, very nice. Number five, group number one, please. Question number, number five: What kids patterns are available? Um, early, late, uh, or night shift. Okay, this one. Early, late, or night shift. Thank yeah. you. And for the next one, number six. Six. What is the job base? Is a still white delivery, delivery service? Okay, it's skill-wise delivery service. That is the job base, okay. And let's see number group number three, uh, question number nine. Let's skip some questions. Question number nine. Two or four. Two or four. You will be paid extra for working on Saturdays. True or false? Is uh, the answer is false. Is false. Why? Uh, because uh, it says, um, let me see. Uh, pay rates for weekdays, including Saturdays, will be. Okay, including Saturdays. So it's not overtime. So the answer is false. Okay, thank you. And number ten, group number one, please. The last one to complete this this slide. Uh, whom should you contact a skillwise delivery service to get an application form? Okay, it's Elaine Gray. Okay, this one. I don't know how to pronounce that this name, but is uh something like Elaine Ellen Gray. So Ellen. you should contact that person. Okay. Okay, very nice guys. Very good job. Uh both group, group number one and three. Now we are going to share the answers from group number two and four. So group number two, can you read the first question and the answer, please? Yes, group sí, number two. Eh, teacher, eh, primera pregunta. Yeah. Uh, is, is you miss the news at... Nineteen nine. Uh, we can you need cash the news. And what is what will be the answer if you miss the news? At uh, the answer is at twenty two hours in the BBC One channel. Call it BBC News at ten. So BBC One at twenty two hours. BBC News at yes. 10. Oh, all right, very nice. And the number two, please. If you, if you are interested in gardening, what program may you look out for? If you are interested in gardening, mm -hmm. which program would you look for? And what is the the answer? The answer is Hindcote, a, gar a garden for all seasons at 21 hours in BBC4 channel. 
Let's see, in BBC4, nice. At 21 hours, high cut. A garden for all seasons. Very nice. And group number four. Can you please read the question number three? And the answer, please. What, what time and on which channel would you catch the apprentice? And, and what is the answer? The answer is on BBC One at 21 hours. And the name of the show is The Apprentice. Okay, in, on BBC One, at 21 hours, you find the apprentice, okay. Fine. And the next question, number four. Group number, number four. When and on which channel can you see the weather forecast? The answer is on BBC One at 20, 27. And the name of, of the program is BBC News and Regional News. On BBC One at 2027. 20, on BBC News and Regional, regional News. Yes. How did you identify that, that information? What was the keyword that you look for? Weather. <laughs> okay, nice, the it's weather. Okay. Mm -hmm. You look for the word weather. Okay, very nice. And the question number five, group number three. Question number five, group number two, uh, I'm sorry. What is the question number five? At what time and on which channel can you settle down to watch a film? And what is the answer? Uh, Yes, the answer is uh, at 22 hours, um, Kill Bill Ball 2 in BBC 3 channel. At 22, 22, Kill B. Yes, 22, 22 hours in BBC Kill 3 B. channel. Okay, nice. And that is a movie. How did you identify that information? What was the keyword that you looked for? A film, okay, or a movie. Okay, very nice. Is there any other questions? Or only five? Only five. Okay, only five. Okay, thank you. Let's go back to group number one and three to close this topic. Uh, the question number 11, if you could complete this, this question, group number one. Question number 11, okay. if, if you could complete it. You can leave a message on an answering machine, true or false, if false. Repeat again the, the question, please. You can leave a message on an answering machine, true or false? Ah, uh, you can leave a message on an answering machine. That is false. Yeah. Yes. Because it's not, it's not there in the advertisement. Very nice. Yes. Question number uh, 12, group number three. If you could complete it. You need to, you need to be 
able to work at the short notice to falls. And that's what it is the false. It's false. Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, 12, you need to, to be able to work a short notice to or, or false. Ah, okay. No sé si quedó, compañeros. In, in that case, Diego or Silvia. In that case, it's, it's true. True. Yes, because you need to work on a notice. Um, let's see what is the answer. At a short notice. Here. Yeah. You are available to work at a short notice. So that is a requirement. So that one will be true. Because you need to be available to work at a short notice. Do you understand that part? If yes. you receive a message, uh, you have to work in departure to deliver some uh, packages. So you have to be uh, available at any time at a short notice, like in Pizza Hut. If you receive an order, you have to, de to, to deliver it uh, quickly. Okay, thank you. Uh, is there any, any other question that you complete? Um, we finished all the questions. Those are all the questions. Okay, yes. nice. Teacher, la numero 15. What is the question? Ya no hayamos que ponerle porque... Yes, dice... Do you need a driving license to apply for a job with Skyly with delivery service? Okay, do you need a driving license to apply? Yes. The driving license is not mentioned in here in the advertisement. But if you analyze the, the job, what is the job about? It's about delivery. So you have to know how to drive. You have to have a listen driver, a listen driving. So the answer will be yes. You need the listen driving. Okay, if you don't have any questions with this, uh, it's time to finish. Do you have any question about the the topic? Because tomorrow we are going to you know with simple present. No question, guys. No. No question. How did you feel? No. How did you feel this exercise? Was it easy or was it difficult to work uh, with the breakout rooms? Difficult. Uh, easy. Easy. Yeah. It's, it's. For some of you, it was difficult, and for some of you, what easy? Why was it difficult? Because they had some problems. The most problems vocabulary. Vocabulary. Yes. Yes, that is a practice that will help you, you develop uh, some more skills, reading skills. So you uh, have to read once in a while when you have time. If you can get a book in English, you can uh, practice reading. So please, if you can do that, that will be helpful for you. That will be helpful. 
Okay, if you don't have any questions or any recommendations, we are going to stop here and we will continue tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for Thank you coming. Much. Have a have a good, good night, night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good